Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today we're going to look at salad dressings. What ingredients you should watch out for, you should avoid, because the more I can teach you what to buy at the grocery store, you'll be over here in this section of the store and not end up in the pharmacy section of the store. So we need to be careful what we buy and I'm going to teach you today what to look for in salad dressings. They have finally done it. They have put the ranch dressing into a sprinkle that you could just put on any recipe. It's a great idea. It's just horrible ingredients. So whether you buy the packet or the sprinkle on, we need to look at the ingredients. So right away we see lots of fillers, MSG, artificial flavorings, you know, everything that we do not want in here. It does contain soy. And so that's another ingredient we do not want. So this is just a lot of flavorings, a lot of chemicals. This is definitely a no. Here's a favorite of many people. Yes, but when you flip it over, we see right away we have water. Water is just a filler. Water is to stretch this product so you get less of what you really need. Soybean oil, definitely a GMO. This would be a no. Some of the other ingredients you're looking for on here besides the water, the soybean oil, you're looking for sugar. How much sugar? So we're getting two grams. That's not on the super high end, but it is still a little bit high. You're not going to have protein in this product unless they've added something of protein quality, which is interesting because they have cheese cultures in there, which would be a protein, but yet it's not registering up above in the nutrition data. So we also are going to have some calcium disodium ED. TA. We do not want that. That's to protect the flavor. And then we have natural flavorings. We don't know what that is. So this definitely would be a no. So I hope I didn't burst your bubble with Olive Garden. So here we have Healthy Choice Garden French. It does say non-GMO verified on the bottom. So let's see what's in it and if it's a product that we could use. Right away we have water, apple cider vinegar, cauliflower puree, chicory root, which is actually a really good food. So you can see you pretty much have everything that should be okay with this product. I don't see a sweetener. Yes, it does say sugar right there. So you're looking up above, we want to see how much sugar is in there. And we see we have three grams of fiber and we have four grams of sugar. So a little bit more heavily sweetened than our last dressing. This would be an okay product if you are going to buy this in the store. Now here's an interesting one, P.F. Chang's, if you like that restaurant, they have this dynamite ranch dressing mix. Sounds like it would be really good, but when we look at the ingredients right away, water, soybean oil, two things we do not want. So we want to avoid this at all costs, so do not buy this. And it is, we've got two grams of sugar, so not as high as the last product. So, and we also have not only the soybean oil, but we have the canola oil. So double reason not to buy this product. Now this one may look good because it says sugar-free, but I highly do not recommend it. It says no high fructose corn syrup, so if it's sugar-free, what are they using instead? So when we look on the back, and we see right away water, vegetable oil, they're not even identify what oil is in it, they're just saying it could be a mixture of all three. But then if you look at the bottom right there, it says sucralose. Definite no, we do not want this. Just not a good product, so I would not want this on your dinner table. Okay, it's time for a good dressing. So this one definitely passes all of the tests. It does say USDA or certified organic. It's cilantro lime ranch, sounds really good. Look at the ingredients on the back. We have, we have a sunflower oil. These are all have the asterisk, meaning they are certified organic. We have egg yolks, lemon juice, lime juice, mustard, definitely everything that would be good. Definitely a good choice. You might wanna try this one. I just want to pause in the middle of looking at all of these dressings that are mostly toxic that I don't want you to buy. You can make your own. So if you don't have already the Healthy Treasures Cookbook, there's an entire chapter on how to make your own dressings. It is so delicious. You can make your own ranch dry dressing mix, your own ranch dressing. You can make any dressing that you desire once you understand with the recipes in this cookbook how to make delicious recipes. Plus, when you have the basic ingredients on hand, you're 
always ready. You're always a prepper. You can always serve salad and have a delicious dressing just in two minutes. So quick and easy. So go ahead and check out Healthy Treasures Cookbook either on Amazon or on our website. And if you buy on Amazon, please leave a review with your name because we are pulling those names and giving away gifts. So thanks for letting me share with you this Healthy Treasures Cookbook. Well, who doesn't love a good creamy dressing? Yes, yeah, especially Caesar's flavored. So let's look over here on the back of Newman's package and we have canola oil, that's a GMO. We have some corn syrup, that's a GMO. And yet we have no sugar counted down below, so that's interesting. And we also have some MSG in this product. So this, even though we love a good creamy Caesar, we're gonna have to learn to make it ourselves because this is a no. So here's the Walmart brand, the ranch dressing, organic, great value. And as we can see on the back, it is using a soybean oil. I still don't like soybean oil, even though it's saying it's organic. I just, there's a lot of crossover effect in the fields. I just don't trust it. Other than that, this would actually be a good product. It's got some yeast extract that's organic. That can still be an MSG. So some people might be allergic to this or have a reaction. MSG is not bad. It's how it's derived to put in the product that makes it bad. Now this package just looks like it would be a delicious salad dressing. So a roasted garlic with rosemary and olive oil. And it even says on the front, full of flavor, not full of preservatives. Well, it's not full of preservatives, but it definitely has preservatives. So looking on the back, first of all, we see canola oil. Definitely not an ingredient we want to use. We have a soy listed twice and we have yeast extract. Once again, it could be an MSG and your body may not up, up like that. Now this is the new kid on the block, as it says on, on the label, and dress your salad in good taste. Great labeling. The package just looks fantastic. When you turn it over to the side, it's just telling you right away, this is just a blueberry balsamic vinaigrette, is oil, vinegar, and some blueberries. Sounds wonderful until you look at the ingredients. We have water, we have canola oil, it's not organic. Blueberry juice, we have balsamic vinegar, we have honey, orange juice, and then we have some dried blueberry flakes, blueberry flavor. You know, it sounds really good. If they would have just put in organic, you know, an organic olive oil would have been better, but definitely not a canola oil that is not organic. So it looks beautiful, probably tastes great, but is definitely a no. Now this may look like a dressing that you definitely want to grab. We don't, two reasons, fat-free and sugar-free. Two key words right there to tell us this is a bad choice. So let's just look at what I'm talking about. On the back, we look at the ingredients and we have water, cider, vinegar. These all sound fine, and especially until you get down to the sucralose. Right there, that is what we want to avoid. It has a lot of preservatives. It does not have any oil. So really, this is just more of a, it's called a vinaigrette, but there's no oil in there. And without oil, we can't absorb the vitamins that we need from our salad. Kensington's is a possibility. We have a buffalo ranch. You could use it as a dressing or as a dip. So it says non-GMO dairy-free on the front. We flip it over and it is, says at the top right there, non-GMO verified. It is keto-friendly, dairy-free, gluten-free. The ingredients are sunflower oil. It doesn't say organic, but yet it's verifying it's a non-GMO. We have water, we have distilled vinegar, organic egg yolks, we have uh, garlic juice, canine pepper, so really, all of the ingredients look perfectly fine. And so this could be a definite yes on your list. So if you want to try something new, try out Sir Kensington's. Well, I think you're getting the gist of what's a good salad dressing and what's not. So here's one that's been on the shelf for many years. This is Ken's Steakhouse Balsamic Vinaigrette. So when we look at the back, we look at the ingredients. Number one, canola oil. It's not organic. This is a definite no. Xanthan gum is not a bad ingredient. It can be used as a thickener. It's not bad, it's not good. It's just kind of a good natural thing. I use it sometimes in thickening products, but we have natural flavor. We don't know what that is. We have some, a lot of preservatives in here. So I would say don't buy this. This dressing bottle just looks delicious. It just makes you want to grab it. It says, take a bite at the top. It's called Bitten Creamy Strawberry Made with Real Fruit Dressing. Now that right there is enough to make you want to buy it until you flip it over and definitely water and canola oil. So they're not organic, so we have to stay away from this. We do have some other chemicals in there for preservatives that are not healthy for your body, not very helpful. And we have got some coloring, that's understandable, but definitely it looks so good on the front, but it is not to be bitten. 
Well, just a lot of dressings here at, at Walmart, just a lot to choose from, but we only came up with one or two that were okay. A lot of them are deceiving on the label, yet we've been buying them for years. So I just want to encourage you to be cautious, be careful. Thanks for letting me share with you these salad dressings. I know it can be kind of daunting because it's like everything has ingredients in it that aren't good for us. But remember what I said, I want to keep you in the grocery section of the grocery store and not in the pharmacy section of the store. That is so important. It's not only for your health today, but your health for the future. And not just you, but your children, because the patterns that we are setting as adults, our kids are picking up on. And we want them to recognize what is true, what is good, what is healthy. And most important, we want them to know God's recipe for excellent health. And that always includes the very first ingredient. <laughs> yes, I've got mittens on. It's cold out here. That includes the very first ingredient. God loves you. God loves you with an amazing love. He is able to forgive. He's able to bring us right into his arms and to love us. And that is amazing because some of us are not very lovable, but God still loves us. No matter what's happened in your past, God still loves you. Thanks for watching. Be sure and hit the like, subscribe, and the bell, and stay warm.